We know there are probably many things that you wouldn't mind touching, but if you make the wrong move, your health could be at risk. Whether it's a strange animal that might electrocute you, to various everyday items used for laundry, here are dangerous things you don't want to touch. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Number 14, Hydrochloric Acid. This stuff is used for moving rust off of steel, but when it comes to contact with human skin, the results are terrifying. This is also considered to be one of the most dangerous acids in existence. At first exposure, the victims may not feel any pain, but after a few minutes, people have reported that they feel like they were lit on fire. Number 13. Dangerous Plant Characteristics While trying to survive in the forest, it's better to be safe than sorry. This means avoiding certain plants. Toxic plants often have similar characteristics. Plants with thorns don't look too appetizing to begin with, so it's just best to avoid them for the most part. Avoid eating any plants that contain an almond-like odor. This can usually carry a deadly poison called cyanide. Avoid three-leaf growth patterns like poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. These will give you a burning rash that you won't be happy about. Anything with a bitter or soapy taste, spit out immediately. And also, any plant you notice with a strange sap, try to avoid that too. If you see any plant that looks like this, don't eat it. It's the castor oil plant that creates ricin, which is extremely deadly and something dangerous you don't want to touch. Number 12. The Doll's Eye Now here's a plant that certainly doesn't look appetizing. If the image hasn't scared you off already, keep in mind that the entire plant, as well as the berries, are extremely poisonous to humans. Even the slightest touch can lead to irritation. The berries contain cardiogenic toxins, which can immediately knock you out if you dare try to eat them. They are one of the most poisonous plants and have the right appearance to back it up. Birds are often found around this plant because they try to eat the seeds. They will also lead to poisoning in humans. So if the impaled eyeballs weren't enough to scare you off, American Eye is giving you the warning about this creepy doll's eye. Number 11. The Electric Eel If a person had this capability, it would be pretty shocking to say the least. Its organs are able to generate low and high voltage shocks. This can reach the intensity of a stun gun and is likely to kill an adult, but they will certainly be stunned by the superpower. The lethal dosages are administered to its prey, which are normally small fish, making it definitely something you don't want to touch. However, there have been videos online that show that the shock is powerful enough to take down a croc when bit into. This is another creature that has the ability to use electrocution when hunting. Trying to keep these electrifying creatures as pets certainly would be difficult anyways. Number 10. The Inside of Smoke Alarms If you're inside a building right now and you can see a smoke detector on the wall, there's a very good chance that it's emitting alpha particles and low energy gamma rays. A vital component of smoke detectors is this small piece of radioactive metal known as americium-241, and it's cased in aluminum. This is the only synthetic isotope you can actually find in people's homes. The only way that it could be harmful is if someone swallowed or inhaled it, which would be sort of strange if that happened. Smoke detectors start off with nearly pure americium-241, but over a course of time of about 30 years, it'll be reduced to a new element called neptunium, which is a byproduct of nuclear reactors. Since some smoke alarms save people's lives, there's obvious reasons why you wouldn't want to touch something like this. Number 9. Ouija Boards Do you really want to even take a chance? Unless you really want to invite harmful spirits into your life, you probably shouldn't use a Ouija board. The Ouija board is often considered to be a portal that souls can travel through and even right into your own home. Kids who use these might get caught trespassing into places they're not supposed to go to in order to communicate with the underworld. Sometimes the people who mess around with these might not get exactly what they're looking for. Some might confuse cases of hauntings with actual cases of demon possession, and demons are much, much worse. If you end up summoning a demon, that's your problem. Number 8. The Pus Caterpillar This mysterious little creature gets its name for its cat-like fur, but don't be mistaken. It's definitely something you don't want to pet. It might kind of look like a furry toupee, but it's actually completely covered in venom. They're found in the rainforest, but they can also make their way to swamps and even on our home soil in Florida. Those who've had the unfortunate encounter with a pus caterpillar describe the experience to be unpleasant to say the least. Supposedly, it's worse than stings from bees, jellyfish, and even scorpions combined. The stings result in swelling and it's suggested to contact poison control immediately after making contact. They take a wide variety of colors and some are quite more frightening than others. Number 7. Hedgehogs Hedgehogs probably aren't as dangerous as the last two we mentioned, but with their popularity rising as an exotic pet, people don't always realize that they can be dangerous. Unlike most animals people let in their homes, these ones don't have fur. Hedgehogs have quills similar to ones that porcupines do, which can be dangerous to humans. The quills have been known to carry different germs that can affect people, especially if they get pricked. The germs get sent directly into the bloodstream almost like a syringe thanks to the sharp quills. People have reported getting fever, stomach pain, 
and rashes after getting pricked. It's recommended that large families with young children try to avoid getting this as a household pet, and improper care of the hedgehog can increase its deadliness. Number 6. Mustard Gas Known to cause harm upon contact, this is something you definitely don't want to touch. Mustard gas gets its nickname from the unique, mustardy garlic onion smell it gives off and is classified as a blister agent. This is really a sulfur-based family of cytotoxins that have been used on the battlefield. Cytotoxic means that any living cell that makes contact will be attacked. Not only does it smell bad, but it will seriously blister your eyes and lungs. Once it's irritated your body's entire respiratory system, it then acts as a poison, attacking your body's cells. Eyes will swell, tear up, and the voice will coarsen. It's almost like pepper spray on steroids. Severe blisters are left to immobilize the intended target. Abandoned stockpiles that were discovered show how widely it was used. Number 5. Tide Pods Can easily just be as dangerous as our last one. These delicious looking objects have been known to be confused for food by elderly people and young children who don't know any better. But now they're even more dangerous due to kids who are trying to get a little internet fame by competing in the Tide Pod Challenge. This ridiculous trend involves someone biting into these little Tide Pods used for laundry and letting it drool down their faces. Some might even include people actually drinking the stuff. People who are doing these trends might not always know that they're playing with fire and Tide really doesn't taste all that great. Only in 2018, 39 cases of hospitalization were reported among ages of 13 to 19. If you think about picking up a Tide Pod and putting it into your mouth, this is something that you definitely don't want to touch. Number 4. Polonium Possibly one of the most feared substances on the periodic table of elements is polonium. This one is quite strange because it's nearly invisible to all radiation detectors. However, polonium will cause significant damage if only a little bit is inhaled or ingested. All it takes is ingesting 50 nanograms or inhaling 10 nanograms before suffering from severe radiation poisoning. It takes a state-sponsored radioactive weapons program to create this stuff and has possibly gone to the wrong hands. It's widely believed that the KGB might have used this as a secret weapon during undercover missions. Number 3. Formaldehyde Although you won't typically find this in its pure state outside of a taxidermy office or a mortuary, formaldehyde is in many different everyday items. This includes things such as nail polish, wood smoke, automobile exhaust, and this stuff is toxic to humans. Not only would you really not want to touch it, even getting close enough to the point where you can smell it is already bad enough. This is definitely not something you want to play around with. Gloves should always be worn when handling this corrosive agent, and no precautions should be avoided. Some parents believe that this is found in various vaccines and want to prevent their child from getting it. Number 2. Plutonium You'll probably never get the chance to try to touch this, but if the opportunity arises, handle with care. This substance requires a very careful handling, and one wrong move could contaminate a large area. It's well known that this is a key ingredient in WMDs and should not be experimented with if you don't know what you're doing. Similar to polonium and americium, this radioactive substance is sure to cause some problems. The way it rapidly releases energy has shocked many scientists while conducting experiments. And number one, liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen pretty much has the ability to instantly freeze anything that it comes into contact with. On one of Neptune's moons, Triton, near the South Pole, the Voyager satellite had spotted a volcano that shoots out liquid nitrogen, which then turns to ice. So imagine you don't want to make contact with this stuff. It's so cold that it actually boils. When it does this, it becomes a more gaseous substance, which is actually safe to inhale. The danger from touching liquid nitrogen would come from long exposure, about 20 seconds, which could theoretically turn your hand into a block of ice within seconds. Experiments have been done that show how effectively it can turn basically anything rock solid instantly. It's even used in medical practices to remove warts. Severe injury can be caused if even just a little bit splashes on you, so don't take that chance. There are some videos of people drinking this stuff, but it's already in gaseous stage, so it probably is not a great idea anyways. 